Hello folks, welcome. Filming in 1080, please adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about help menus and uh, some basic keyboard shortcuts. And uh, I'll say welcome folks, again filming in 1080. Subscription key in the corner, 430 plus videos and growing. Um, so we can uh, press F1 to get this help menu. Now, if you're on a laptop, you may have to use function and F1 if your F1 is pre-assigned. So uh, installation guide, pick your language. I'm just going to pick English. These are all nice and clickable and it's a wealth of information. Okay, again, you have to be online. So installation guides goes directly by pressing F1 to their website. So you don't have to click on anything else. Now, another one that's on the same lines is if you hold down the control key and press F1, you get keyboard shortcuts. Most of the time you need to have your applications minimized. There are three pages worth. Page three contains the very common ones like control X, control C, V, A. These are found on just about every Linux distribution and also Microsoft Windows as an matter of fact. Now, if you open up your Nemo file manager, you can also find the same information. So you don't have to remember this. Keyboard shortcuts, control and F1 produces the same effect. And the same thing with help, F1. Again, it's you have to be online. So yesterday I produced a video on a deep dive on this particular icon here, this shield update manager, which I discussed about 98% of all settings in here. When I got to the help area and contents, this was a white page. And I do have a solution for that if you have that affliction. And I discussed that toward the end of this video. Okay, but I'm going to first continue with this. So again, help contents, and we can read all about the update manager, software regressions, system snapshot, which again is time shift, different types of updates and more information. However, that's not where the extent of this is. And this is one of the reasons that I did the second video. There are two reasons. One, is to po post the uh, fix that I found for the white screen. And the second one is to show you this, all help. Not everything has icons, but there's links in here. So if you wanted to know a little bit about X image viewer, there you have it. All of these are clickable. X reader, again, these are clickable. Text editor, terminal, system monitor, synaptic package manager, which I'll actually open in a different way for you. Rhythm box. If you don't know what PIX is, it looks like this. You should have it installed. I have photos in mine. And uh, anyways, you can see all of these things. Now fish is something that works with terminal. So you may want to read up on that. Uh, now, if you are uh, wondering about a document scanner manual, maybe you're plugging in a scanner, you may want to look at this. It's got quite a few links in here. Calculator help if you're using that one. And if you have this one installed and you're trying to burn a DVD or a CD, or if you're wanting to know more about archiving, this is a wealth of information just from you clicking help contents. All right, so a lot of you folks are using Linux Mint for the first time, and Cinnamon 22 is probably what you picked. And again, welcome. So we can use Terminal to install software. We can also use Software Manager. Software Manager also contains another set of software, which is called Flatpak from flathub.org, and a lot of Linux distros also use that site. There's a third way, which is called Synaptic. I'm going to open that for you and log in here. So Synaptic Package Manager currently, as of today's date, and this is 9-1-2024, so I'm not sure 
when you're watching this. This is just a desklet. 74,832 packages currently as of today's date. So Synaptic Package Manager, again, does not contain Flatpak software. Software normally is coming from these locations unless you change the mirrors. In other words, places in the world. I showed this on my advanced video yesterday also. At least this dialog box. So in here we have also contents. Help, F1. It goes directly to Synaptic and these of course you have are clickable. And you can use your back arrow keys if you're using a regular mouse. That's what I'm doing. In addition to that, you can click the hamburger menu and go to All Help. And this is again the same manual that I just showed you in the Update Manager. So there's two ways to click that now. So if you saw that video from yesterday, I'm going to recap this again. When I click this on yesterday's video, this is the same machine I'm filming from with the exact same installation. There's only one difference. And I'll talk about that in a second. But this was white. Everything else worked on the system just fine, which I was actually pretty stunning. And I had actually was just using Linux Mint 21.3 right before I filmed this one because I have pull out hard drives. So that was working just fine in that one also. So what I did was I changed the graphics card after I got a couple of notes from some of you folks because I asked specific questions about the CPU and the graphics card. And I started my own testing. So I decided to take that hard drive and put it into, if you want to call it machine number two, with an AMD graphics card and it was working fine. So this one is now using an AMD graphics card. Yesterday it was using a NVIDIA card. Now, AMD graphics cards do not require drivers. More importantly, I posted this video yesterday. If you are a subscriber, you will find this video. If you're not a subscriber, I have 435 videos for you. I have uh, maxed out all the playlists. Unfortunately, I couldn't get every distribution in there because uh, uh, YouTube only has X amount of playlists, but there are quite a few of them in here. And you may see some distributions you may recognize in here. Okay, more importantly, standard videos, and you can use the search feature for the other ones if you can't find your playlist, and you may find it in there, because I have, again, lots of videos. So yesterday I posted this video. Now this morning I added some extra text to it. Underneath the all of my videos is text, just like this. So, um, it's time to help. I do not, I'm not in control of these commercials because again, I don't get paid for making videos, but YouTube decides to monetize on that. So they provide me server space and that's the price I pay. So more importantly, the commercials, they, they are in control of. So anyways, so let's get back on topic. So I'm going to blow up the area where it says text in here. I put a special note in here as of this morning regarding that blank help file. Initially, what I thought was uh, the Linux Mint 22 is still evolving and it has issues. Well, the odd, and the reason I determined that was because Linux Mint 21.3 was working on the same set of hardware. Again, I still feel there's a slight incompatibility, but more importantly, I, I pinned it down to a graphic card. And that was the model number that was giving me a problem. And that was an NVIDIA card. So today I'm using an AMD card that works just fine. Now that doesn't mean that all AMD graphics card are going to give you this issue because I'm going to, let's just call it machine number four. I took the same hard drive out and put it into a, a third machine with a newer NVIDIA graphics card and it worked just fine. So again, I am, there's some incompatibility with Linux Mint 22 and that particular NVIDIA model number, if you can use this information. And I was having the same issue with the open source and proprietary. However, the newer card, if you want to call it machine number four with Linux Mint 22, the open source driver was still blank. 
So that was a different NVIDIA card, but the proprietary driver worked, which I thought was so different. But again, we have all kinds of incompatibility things nowadays when we are mixing and matching. But this was a problem with that card that I observed. So that's why in this machine here, which is the exact same machine I was filming from yesterday, has an AMD graphics card today. Well, I have several computers. Thank you for watching.